Hey, Kristen Hankins here with Usborne Books and More. I'm going to show you more of our winter 2020 new titles. These are going to be our new books that are designed to manipulate and or educate. Sometimes both interactive learning is my favorite way to help my kids learn new information. This is Peek Inside Bug Homes. Uh, the Peek Insides are my favorite series out of all the different series that we have because for the six years that I've been with Usborne, the Peek Insides have worked for all of my kids. I can sit down with everybody at one time, everyone enjoys the book, everyone enjoys the flaps, and everyone walks away with new information. For me, they don't take that long to read, so we can get through multiple books, or you know, the youngest ones will at least finish a, an entire book before they are tired of listening or I lose their attention. Even my oldest, who's 12 now, still has a lot of fun sitting with us when we read our peek insides. And of course, they're really short and sweet and easy for him to help out with his little siblings. Another new book is Understanding Money. It says, some people say it's not polite to talk about money, but if we don't talk about it, how will anyone understand how money works? What counts as fair pay and why the rich are getting richer while the poor stay poor? Money is a hot topic in our house. We talk about money constantly. Um, our kids, they each have their own budget, even the little ones. They have a savings account, they have a charitable donation account, and they have their spending money, which they understand they still have to save up for things um, to spend their spending money since their savings is long-term. So my kids have loved the managing your money and they're really excited to see understanding money as well so that they can continue learning more and more about how to be good stewards of their money, how to manage their money well, and how to just make sure they're making good financial decisions, even at a young age. That way it's never a taboo topic. They're always prepared. The Usborne STEM collection is growing. Now we have a technology scribble book. These are interactive books. They're designed to be written in, and they, the format is just really fun. It's like, it's not a workbook, it's like an activity book, but they are doing real work. In this one, they're gonna be learning about different sorts of technology. Technology is all over my head, so I probably should hang on to this one and do it myself. Um, mining the Scrap Heap, Online Riches, Codes, Sci-Fi Tech. Oh, this looks like DNA to me. <laughs> Thinking with logically, food for the future computers of the future and more. I'm always excited to see books like this because I definitely push physical books in our house, but technology is not going anywhere. So we need to stay up to date on that as well. Donnie and Dash's 123 is a pop-up counting book. You may have seen Alfie and Bet. I think it's Alfie and Bet got it over here somewhere. Alfie and Bet's ABCs. And now we have a pop-up for counting. How fun is that? I am so happy to see this. Um, my second to youngest is four now, and she's all about learning. She wants to learn all of her numbers. She wants to count all the time. She wants to practice all of her letters. So she's gonna love them. Dr. Maggie's Grand Tour of the Solar System. This is a really, really big book. This is packed full of information about our solar system going into orbit, getting into space. There's information about each of the planets, the atmosphere, the moon, the phases of the moon. Here's information about the sun. This is just a very comprehensive book for all things space. Asteroids, rocky bodies, meteorites, Jupiter's layers, other moons, other surfaces, the last planet, Pluto, the dwarf planet. Is Pluto a planet? What do you guys say? I remember when I was in college and they declassified Pluto as a planet, but after having Pluto as a planet for so long, I don't know how you just take it away. Um, See Inside Atoms and Molecules is a, uh, it's a new Lift the Flat book, but it's also in our Usborne STEM series. 
we are definitely getting more and more books that your kiddos can use to enhance their knowledge in those areas of science, technology, um, engineering, and math. <laughs> oh, sometimes it's hard to remember all of these acronyms. Let's just say all the important stuff, all these growing fields. Atoms and molecules have been so fascinating. We actually, I homeschool, we actually studied them about two years ago. And my oldest daughter, who was only six at the time, was just really hung up on atoms and she always wanted to check out everything the library had on atoms. So we are happy to be adding this to our home library so we can continue learning more about atoms and molecules. We went pretty deep then. We did talk about all of these things, but I find that we need to revisit it fairly regularly that way. It stays in their little storehouse in their brains. They retain it all. And what better way than with a lift the flat book? That will never get boring. Another new lift the flat book is biggest, fastest, tallest, and many more record breaking extremes. So this is for sure gonna be a really interesting book for a lot of kids. They love facts and they love records. Everyone loves the Guinness World Records. And here we have a whole lift the flap book about records. What's fun about flaps is that, number one, they're interactive, obviously, but when a child is not interested in stuff, something, they can just keep going. They can breeze right past it. If they find that they are super interested, let me make sure you can see the glare. If they are super interested, they can dig deeper with the flaps and they can learn more and more. And I love having that option. So they can kind of choose how much they learn and be in control over part of their education. And of course, they're having fun manipulating the book while they're learning. So that's gonna help them retain some knowledge there as well. Let me, oh, this whole thing opens up. These flaps are gonna separate here. That is really fun. And the top, if I can get it. And last page, not last page. There's several more. Longest river, longest railway, longest wall, the furthest, and the best of the rest. The oldest prosthetic wooden toe, the loudest sound, the quietest place, the smallest monkey, the most powerful computer, the rarest stamp, all kinds of interesting information. Love it. History Uncovered, the USA. You know what? I have not even peeked in this book. So let's take a first look together. A country is born. Okay, so we're starting with um, America being colonized for the first time, exploring the um, new land as Thomas Jefferson sent people out west. Here's Daniel Boone and Frederick Douglass and John Jacob Astor. Well, this is a really neat book. I love how we are adding layers. We're seeing the important people start to appear on this side. I don't know if you guys can see that really well. And we're opening up the territories over here. So we're seeing the states as they're added. This is really cool. The divided states. So now we're going to talk about the Civil War. Let's make sure you guys can still see that. The important figures at that time, Harriet Tubman, some state trivia. We're gonna talk about the first transcontinental railroad, the Underground Railroad, growing pains. We have Buffalo Bill and we have the Wright brothers building the first airplane. Now we have almost all 50 states. Um, we're in reconstruction at this point and we are going to have um, women gaining the right to vote in America. It's hard to believe that's 100 years ago now beyond the borders. We're gonna talk about the assembly line, international interest, the Great Depression, the Golden Age, Amelia Earhart. Now we have all of the states have been added. Um, the dates are at the top. I'm sure you saw that as I was flipping through. Modern times. This is just the neatest book. This is probably going to be in my top 10 favorites. When I'm done recording, I'm gonna um, spend a little bit more time with that book. That's a job. I like animals. What jobs are there? Let's learn about 
different jobs for someone who likes animals. Police dog handler, dog groomer, guide dog trainer, wildlife sanctuary manager, pet sitter, dog walker, pet store owner. Um, my six-year-old daughter is a huge, huge fan of animals, marine biologist, mounted police officer. I hope she doesn't move very far away to become a mounted police officer, but she loves dogs and cats the most. And I love that it lists all these jobs because we talk about that all the time. She um, wanted to be a veterinarian. Um, what are your skills? What qualities do you have? What are your interests and goals? But she also wants to be um, a stay-at-home mom when she has kids. So this can help her find things like the dog walking or the grooming that don't require her to be gone from her own family a lot when she's, you know, 30 years older than she is now. Okay, so tell me in the comments below which one you like the best. If you can't pick just one, that's fine. I totally get it.